I would like to welcome you to my video today on sequential query language. We have four libraries, SQLDF, the Gapminder, the Tidyverse, and the Tidyall. And I want to show you how to work with SQL. The SQLDF is a package for the SQL commands and the Gapminder is a data set. It's a natural language. So we want first of all to look at this data. Uh, the data we are calling the gap minder. And there are just few columns, there are six of them, and there are a total of 1704 entries. The countries, the continent, the year, the life expectancy, the population and the GDP per capita. So I can decide I want to select using capital letter select country, continent, pop, those three, country, continent, pop, those three from the gap minder where continent is equals to Africa. So what it does it will select those three only African continent, African population, and when I view, I can see it selected for me only African countries. So that's one of the commands that I could give, or I could try to select for me country, population, the year life expectancy from Capminder where country is equal to Kenya. So what it does is it gives me the data for Kenya only. And you can see uh, the data there, which with country as Kenya. So the comments are basically easy to follow and easy to use. You can also get the mean GDP. How do I get the mean GDP? I select country. I get the average of GDP per capita as average GDP. Then I get average population as AV pop, and then I get average life expectancy as AV underscore life ESP from Gapminder, where continent is equal to Africa, and you group by country. Let's see what happens there. If we were to view that data, where we look for the mean GDP, and there we go, country with the average values. So you can see actually the commands for SQL, almost, almost not far from the tidy verse package. Countries with population over 100 million in the world, we can say that. So we say to select country, continent, average population as AV pop from Capminder, where population is above 100 million, and then we group by country. Let's see from the data we have how many countries we have that have that population. Uh, Bangladesh, Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, Japan, Mexico, Nigeria, Pakistan, and the United States. And it gives you the average during that period of time. So, so far you've seen it's such a easy and straightforward language to use. If I were to use the Gapminder dataset that is given. Now, I have another dataset that is with me. So, what I'm going to do is I want to view what you're calling the mobile data. And that's how the data looks. It was collected from one of the African countries with the different variables, 28 columns, 2509 entries. Let's see what we can do with this data. Uh, by coming up with a few commands. One of them is I want it to select all from mobile where age is between 75 and 85. So let's see what it selects for us. 
the mob one it is 75 to 85 so the lowest is 75 the highest is 55 so it selects everything but it limits to a certain age group that's what it does and here you want to select everything for well, yeah, the age is less than 70 and then the third one so let's the second one the third one fourth one and the fifth one Let's have one select from mobile account type like bank. Let's see what you view and then we can discuss about it. Mob 3. That's the data we have. And the account type, it only selects for you the account type where the account type is a bank. Uh, if you want to prove that, these are the different account types, circle, VSLA, mobile money, bank account, and that's what the command does. It specifies bank, and then you have put a percentage, meaning that there might be other words after the bank, so it should select all that. So all this you can do with SQL, and you can see this can also be done by Diverse to a good extent. So here we want count number of males. Select count from mobile where gender is MA. If we go to the data and look for gender, MA will definitely give us the male. Let's see what you'll get from that. And if I go to view mob one, uh, it comes for me the number of male in the data. That's what it does because I say it count, and then I could also have looked at mob two, where by mob two is different from mob one, and it gets me the male gender as male, all of them, and then it selects everything for me. It can also filter for me, which is a command used in tidyverse and uh, you'll see they don't differ per se it does exactly what mob does 1 over 9 of 10 51 entries and 28 columns that's what mob 3 does so what the scale has done here that is what it does, does with filter and so on and so forth so there's a lot of similarities sql is easy to use but sql has its own specific purpose when it comes to query querying databases so it's very powerful i didn't have any major uh, data here to do it but it gives you an idea of what you can do with sql continue enjoying my video and thank you so much for watching